Warning, this video is only for the age of 14 and older. If you're not the age of 14, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here. Hey guys, what's up? Now, <clears throat> I'm back again making videos. And I'm not gonna let some little bastards kinda tell me what to do. To tell me to give up and leave now. You're not the boss of me. So that means this channel is gonna be very serious. And besides, I am very serious. Now today, we're going to be reviewing more Disney Pixar cars. Now I don't remember which uh, which, video, which last video I did made. But if you guys do know, it's going to be the mid-end video with the almost the end of the video, so yeah. So today, I'm going to review this. What I have here is the Disney Pixar cars. One of the new Howlers, but this one we have here is the next gen Howler. By the way, there's an error. It says Punchy's Wipeouts Howler. Wrong. This is Paul Conrev Howler. Yep, that's another error that Mattel made. Now, I got this one on my local Walmart a couple of days ago. Uh, I think it was two or three days ago. I think I got it on Sunday. Yeah, I got it on Sunday. And it was, it cost about sixteen dollars. The original price was was twenty dollars, but they lowered the, they lowered it down to about sixteen. So yeah. By the way, I do have Paul Conrad with me right here. There he is. So I'm happy to get this one. Now before I'm gonna continue this, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell to see more videos that I upload. And plus, this video is not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors. So that means if you guys are under age of thirteen or younger. Do me a favor, get out. And also, if you're just a hater, do me a favor, get out. Because this is a video is for serious. For serious people. Because I'm serious. So, yes. So, here it is what it looks like, the packaging, what it looks like for the hollers. A nice, beautiful, translucent, uh, white, a translucent, um, window right here. Pretty cool. And also, here's the back of it. Here it is what it looks like. By the way, this is the international packaging because it has this. And also, have more than... English right here. You see Paul Conrad rolling down right here. You see everything. Now mostly people will press this here and open up easily. Well of course it's an easy but easy um easy open right here. But I found a way to open it. So yeah. I did open it up and mess around with it. So yeah. So there was a tape right here, right there, one on the bottom and same thing on the other side. So yeah. Let's open it up. Move this out of the way. Carefully, carefully open this without damaging the packaging. Fold these down. Move this out of the way. I'm not gonna throw these away. I'll probably could keep it so I could put Paul Conrad, so I could put Paul in the pack and holler nice and carefully. So yes. So here it is. Here it is, Paul's um, Charner F. Holler. What it looks like out of the packaging. Which, by the way, this the color scheme of the bumper save for next gen is looks so cool. I'm not gonna lie. Now he this one is a repaint and uh, you know redetail of Jackson Store Holler, Gil Buford. So yeah, I know some people is messing up the name, but it's actually is Gil Buford. So yeah. So. There she is, with what she looks like, and yes, this is a she, but because of the, you know, the eyelids right here, if you can see. See the eyelids right here? That's a she. Now, I want to say something. This one right here has a nice weight to it, because because right here is all die-cast metal, and the rest of it is just plastic, but the inside of it has one sticker on it, but I'll show you that later. Now, you can see the painting and sculpting. And a nice detailing of this one, well, the decals. And a detailing because, you know, the holler looks so cool and I like it a lot. You can see you have the bumper save logo right here and the number 90. So, yeah. I want to show off the, the driver of the holler first. So, yeah, it is removable. So, and you guys thinking, you know, put it in the, like the rest of the, you know, the, the trucks, the truck, the truck drivers right here. Yeah, good luck with that because they're kind of like. You know, right here. 
So here it is, what she looks like. By the way, she looks pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Right here is just printed right here, thank god it's not stickers. And this one has a nice weight to it because this one has a bunch of die cast metal. The white, the red, and the, the and the, I think it's like a teal or a different shade of blue, I don't know. Um, sadly the tire rims on the bottom right here, over there and there, is not fully painted, which over here it is. And same thing with this one right here for some apparent reason. I don't know why they didn't paint these two right here, which is not fair. It does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing. It is pretty cool. So, plastic base, metal body. This red piece right here is plastic as well. And it doesn't show the, you know, the bumper safe logo right here. Like other, like the old haulers right here, it, it showed the, you know, the sponsorship logo right here. Like for Mag, they had the Rusty's logo and, and for like, you know, Chick Hicks, the Hostel Takeover Bank right here. So yeah. Now here it is, the rest of the, you know, the, the trailer right here, the hauler. You can see the nice, beautiful detail of it right here. You can see the number 90 right here. I forgot to mention one thing. You got the bumper safe logo right there. Number 90 on both sides. So yeah. Anyways, back to this. This one is a lice, uh, lice hauler right here. And before you guys got to ask, what the hell is that noise? It's my fan on because it is getting hot and I'm sweating a little bit. So yeah. You can see the bumper safe logo right here. You can see a lot of, you know, detailing going around, going on right here. What is pretty cool. I want to mention one thing. It is cool. On the top, you got the bumper save logo right here, and the number 90 over here, and the back of it, you got the bumper save logo right here, and the lights over there, the tail light. Now, a lot of people think, oh, there's a hard, there's hard to open it up. Actually, you look at the bottom, there's a lip down here. If you have like a long fingernail, if you don't, just, just grab it. You pull this back, and it full. Now I'll show that later when I can plug in the trailer. The trailer only can go like this and that. On your old one, it could go all the way like that. But on this, it doesn't because of the way that the model works. Like I said over here, there's a little lip down here. Fold this down and also here's the, the right here. There's a little lip down here if you can see. Fold this back right here. It stops. You fold this piece down here, fold out the doors, and there you go. Now you got a way to pull Conrad and his um, trailer. And by the way, the inside of it is made of uh, plastic, is not plastic, of stickers, not detailing, but you can see the inside of it. You can see the tires, the cone right there, and, and the, all the tools right there. So, how to put in on Con Paul Conrad is easy and simple. Just grab the die cast, go to Make sure to back them up. Make sure to close this. Fold this back. And push it all the way in. And now you can, and listen. Now you got Paul Conrad inside of his, his own trailer. Nice and cozy. And you will, and drive along to your next Piston Cup uh, race. I'm gonna bring them out. Or if you wanna do like, you know, from the movies, just push it down, pull this, like that, and there you go. So if there are two options, you can do whatever you want. You can have like that, you know, like the movie version, or if you wanna stand that out, it doesn't matter whatever you want. Now on the old haulers, you can open the sides of it, both sides of it, and you flip the, uh, you know, the little, the little ramp out. But except for the Mac hauler, it's just the same thing like the other uh, next gen hauler. Fold it out, and that's it. Overall, Paul Conrad hauler is so cool and awesome. Now this, now the hauler is only for Walmart exclusive. So, if you guys thinking about finding a Target, yeah, much better just go to, to your local Walmart and just get them. Now, if you guys want to see the last video what I did, make sure to go ahead and check it out. And also, if you want to see more videos, uh, more Disney Pixar Cars videos I did, I have a full playlist of it right here, so check it out as well. Or it's, or it's going to be in the information logo right there. If you want to subscribe to both of my channel, make sure to subscribe to my main channel, which is at the bottom left, right here. And if you love video games, go to the top left right here. There you go. 
You guys already know the rules. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Steam, Discord, Twitch, and Origin. Well, follow me on every Discord uh, Discord um, groups I have right here. Everything, all the social media I have. Look in the description down below so you can follow me there. And until next time, you guys, I'm out. And also, be safe on the riot. Or the raid, doesn't matter.